Okay, this is a sample project with a sample UI page that we can see uh, has post effects applied to it. So let's go ahead and follow the uh, tutorial from HeroCrab to separate the UI into a separate render stage. So um, let's go ahead and, and open our graphs compositor. Um, create a new render stage called UI stage. So in the render stages here on the left, let's click plus and say uh, UI stage. Okay. Um, assign only render group 31 to it. Mm, okay. Uh, Hold on. Okay, we also want a this render feature, the UI render feature. We want to change the render stage into the UI stage, right? This is what what is said here. So we created a new stage. It has no settings whatsoever. We created, uh, we, we used the existing UI render feature and we set its stage to the UI stage and we make sure that only the last group is selected for it. Okay. Um, that's what is said here. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? Okay, I'm wrong. So actually I was supposed to add a new one. Okay, um, let's change it back to transparent and all and add a new one. New simple uh, group to render stage thingy and this one say UI stage just 31, let's call it UI. Okay. Um, and in the transparent one, we exclude uh, group 31. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Now, um, modify the entry point. So the entry point is this baby here. And what we're saying is in the editor, right? Editor, change this into a collection, scene renderer collection. Okay. Um, and the first one will be the shared forward renderer. Okay. Add another entry to the editor section as a single stage renderer. Mm, single stage renderer. And pick the UI stage. Okay. Do something similar for the game entry point. So this time use camera renderers. Okay, so the game renderer here has just the one camera renderer. We're gonna use the uh, the collection. So the first one will be the camera renderer with the main camera. Um, and we can now look at the picture here. Um, and the shared forward renderer. Okay, and the second one for the UI stage. Um, up children camera renderer. Camera, I can main and child single stage UI. And uh, 
right and then we can use the render mask uh, same as we did previously okay so this is the graphics compositor done and now I, I go I'm going here to the um, to the UI component and setting their group to 31 and we can see um, the title has become white which is what we wanted mm. this is the, the editor part right and now the game part let's make sure that it also works for the in-game UI It does. It's white. Great. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. So hope you can follow that.